And they're off for the 2017 Dali July Cup. Into Saab out quickly along with Harry Angel and also the pink jacket Intelligence Cross. Caravaggio was away okay and drops in three from the back with Brando and Mr. Lupton for company. Tasleet tracks the leaders and Lamato is in a handy fourth. The Tin Man races in seventh. But it is Intelligence Cross and Harry Angel under Adam Kirby. To the far side is Intersard, tracked by the Tin Man as Tasleet follows Harry Angel. And Harry Bentley on last year's winner, Lamato tracking Intelligence Cross and followed all the while by the grey Caravaggio. Then Growl and with Brando at the back, Mr. Lupton is in last place as the field have come past halfway running down towards the two in the centre Harry Angel the near side chased along Intelligence Cross into Saab driven Tasleet Moore is at work now asking Caravaggio to lengthen Lamato is also being delivered gets a reminder from Harry Bentley as they run towards the furlong it is Harry Angel there with Lamato now challenging the tin man with it all to do Caravaggio trying to come stand side Harry Angel though leads Lamato in Intelligence Cross Brando flashing home it's Harry Angel that wins the July Cup. So away they go, straight away, Frinsbury Square in the green and purple misses it, but he dies over towards the grandstand side Wales. Rimini, the two-year-old on the left in the orange, profitable next to him. Alphabet in dark blue, then Batash, blue and white on the camp and the grey de Grau, nearest to us against the running rail. Signs of blessing behind those Marshall back. One from the right, two from the right, a picture white and black in behind signs of blessings. Larjan de Bonheurs with these, fashion queen is there and then comes uh, the blue and white of Queen Kindly. They race in front of the stands, the winning post way down the track here. Batash moves nicely in front, still a way to go. Leads by about a length and a half to Larjean de Bonheur, and then comes Profitable in third. Here's Marsha being launched now in the white and black colours, but she'll have to go to get to Badash as they head down towards the closing stages. He's two or three lengths ahead now with Jim Crowley. Batash in front, second place is Profitable, but Batash is just going further and further clear. What a great performance for a sprinter. They race inside the final furlong. The three-year-old Batash leads and leads by two and has got it one. Surely Batash, this is a new sprinting star. Batash clearing away. Batash wins the King George. They're inside the final two. Ripchester is the leader by length to Lightning Spear. Nathra Churchill on the far rail. The grey persuasive running on steadily. Ripchester's leaning across to the far rail. Churchill on the rail. The persuasive is finishing best. And the filly takes it up. She goes sweeping on by Ripchester. It's persuasive. And Frankie de Torre in the Chiefly Park colours goes two lengths clear. Striding up to the line to win the Queen Liz with the second stakes. Ripchester second. Churchill third. Lethal Force has always been in front. He's got 200 yards to go with Adam Kirby. He's drifting to the near side, but it's just Lethal Force in front. Society Rock has moved into second, but that's the best he'll do. Lethal Force made on. It's Lethal Force who leads Society Rock, Slade Power and Shea Shea in pursuit. Soul Power angling out for a last challenge. It's Lethal Force, however, who is keeping going again. Lethal Force from Society Rock, Shea Shea and Slade Power. Darley July Cup to Lethal Force. Mecca's Angel is running on. Acapulco in front. Mecca's Angel is now bridging the gap. Beginning to close. Drawing up sides. Mecca's Angel wearing down Acapulco. And Mecca's Angel wins the North Fork. Mecca's Angel though in front inside the furlong, the heroine from 12 months ago. Lemato is trying to bridge the gap. Mecca's Angel is not for catching. Back-to-back -back wins of the Dunthorpe. It's Mecca's Angel again. Juliet Capulet from Nialetti, who's a half a length away. Juliet Capulet, Nialetti scrapping all the way to the line. Was it enough? We need the judge to decide. 
It's Stage Magic out in front. Zizivar running a big race and a big prize. Almeida's trying to reel this leading duo in and is trying to, but uh, Stage Magic is finding more from Zizivar and Almeida. Stage Magic from Almeida is close. Rialtra who has just got the lead, Fadayul was squeezed up on the rail, now Pell Red is beginning to storm out, so too is Terra, but racing up towards the line, it will be Rialtra who wins for Jack Mitchell. Heading down the home straight, Folkswood, custom cut, that gap closing up on Ballet Concerto there, then Sovereign Debt down the outside, running on strongly the grey, Gabriel with a run under Frankie de Tori. oh this is us, he's trying to angle out, and it's Sovereign Debt that leads the way, Sovereign Debt by a couple of lengths to Gabriel, and oh this is us, giving chase inside the final furlong, Sovereign Debt, Gabriel getting closer, so too, oh this is us, but Sovereign Debt wins again, what a winning machine this season. Racing now down towards the final furling and Divine has come surging through on the Ronan wheel and to hit the front. Going on a couple of lengths clear, Fort Deloro on the outside of Only Mine, but running up towards the finish, it's Divine and Ronan wheel and out in front will score readily for Mick Shannon. Coming from the back is Washington DC with a storming run and Art Humi on the far side. And Washington DC and Art Humi on the far side, racing up the line, Art Humi! And Colin Keane beat Washington DC. Fan and Frankie de Tori leading at this stage. Ajaya the Green Jacket, Christoph Seaman against the rails is fighting him off for time two. Venetia Stylerine, the next two. Gutefan is narrowly in front. Ajaya trying to get to it. I think Gutefan might just have held Ajaya, but it's close between them. They're off and racing. They go then over five furlongs, the fly air lingers from Docks, the Sheffield flying Childers stakes and a flying start by Logart Island on the far side. Trapped by Gutefan in the maroon cap, they're tracking also Shadow Hunter. And on the near side, good pace being shown there by Ornate. At this stage, Independence Day is just uh, chasing these leaders, the dark blue jacket. Love on the rocks is handy, Areem, the sheepskin noseband on the left, just chasing them up then his bare cheek. And at the back of the field, waited with is the grey finny curl, and they're already past halfway, down towards the final two furlongs now. A lot of chances in the flying Childers. Ornate down the centre, tackling Long Island, Gutefan coming there, Shadow Hunter on the far side in the white jacket as they race up to the final furlong. Long Island Island very gamely clean on his good Tefan with Ornate on the near side. Bare cheek being produced behind them as they race inside the final 75 yards. Gutefan and Frankie being pressed by Ornate the near side. Gutefan won the fly, Childers.
inside the final fell on half and Spencer looks very confident on Tipal who breezes through now to hit the front. Tipal goes on from Gather, then guns drawn, plugging on Linehouse. These four are clear, but Tipal marks herself down as a striking, decent filly once again. Good at Lingfield, even better here. Tipal breezes to an easy win. Now Green Door is unleashed on the far side, followed through by Extortionist. Inside the furlong they come, wind fire. Green Door is cutting back the deficit. Fast is a length down, Green Door is getting to wind fire. Close home they come in the Flying Childers. And Green Door and Jim Crowley on top, and Green Door wins the Flying Childers. Hurry up, Harriet and Mecca's Angel have battled this out the whole way through. And then now it's Hurry Up, Harriet, who goes across to the rails to lead. Up the Arty in the yellow jacket, throws down the last challenge. Mecca's Angel still there. Hurry up, Harriet in front, and she lasts home to whip. Racing now inside the final furlong. Elmanante now begins to paddle, staying on Rayaheen on the outside, together with the grey, winning Express. Winning Express has now taken the lead. Grappling guest staying on, and so too Jordana, racing up towards life. Winning Express wins for Richard Hughes. Four and four was that half mile here for El Kabir, who comes off the turn, handwritten and winding away. Three length lead. Royal Sun left in his dust. King Rantos there on the outside third. They're coming inside the final furlong here. And El Kabir with an arresting performance this afternoon. He has rocketed away from the field. Three quarters and nine and four. The final time was 22 flat for this very impressive runner. Kabir down to the 16th pole, holding on to the lead. Imperia trying to run him down, then Eagle on the outside. El Kabir, Imperia, and Eagle. El Kabir and Imperia on the wire together, and it looked like El Kabir held on. El Kabir has built a three length lead and just the 16th of the wire. And on this gray day at Aqueduct, it's the gray Colt El Kabir to take the Jerome. Here comes El Kabir on the outside to now take over the lead. El Kabir is in front with an eighth of a mile to the finish. Classy Class now moves into second. On the outside is Tensidor. It's El Kabir with the lead as they come for the wire at the Gotham. And El Kabir has won it.